Crews were out overnight in New York City, spraying for mosquitoes around Central Park and the North End. The city does daily testing and has found an increase in insects carrying West Nile virus. 31 states have now reported cases. Some states are starting to spray the same insects for a different virus. Crews were out in New Hampshire to stop the spread of Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E as it's often called. The virus claimed a first victim this year, a 41-year-old man who, according to his family, was healthy with no underlying conditions. It's a small town, and the idea that somebody already died from this before we'd even heard anything really about it is pretty scary. There have only been five cases of Triple E in the U.S. this year. It is extremely rare but it is also, compared to West Nile virus, considerably more dangerous. In Massachusetts, depending on the outbreak, we have seen fatality rates of somewhere between 30 and 50 percent. To make things worse, even among people who survive, most are left with permanent neurological problems. There's also no treatment for the virus. According to Health Canada, since 2016, there have only been four cases in Canada found in humans, but in 2024, there have been six cases found in horses. We've known about eastern equine encephalitis for a long time. Uh, it's exceedingly rare. These are recommendations. Well, in some communities in the U.S. Northeast, health officials are calling for curfews, suggesting outdoor activities and sports should end before dusk to limit exposure during peak mosquito hours. Now, the most important measure experts say is simple prevention, things like long sleeves and repellent. And even if the triple E virus is extremely rare, they're the same measures people should be taking for things like Lyme disease and West Nile, which are more and more common. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Washington.